Hey there and welcome back to our channel. In today's video we are going to explore an amazing WordPress plugin called WP in Medical. We'll learn how to start auto-blogging on your WordPress website. So if you are a blogger or website owner looking to save time and effort while keeping your content fresh and engaging, this plugin is perfect for you. So let's without losing time move forward to our video. So well, WP Medical is a powerful WordPress plugin that allows its users to import RSS feeds and automatically generate content from them. So I have already installed the plugin as you can see and we are on the campaign section where you can see that I have no campaign. Now we are going to create a new one together. For that we need to click on this add new button. And here first we need to give a name to our campaign. Let's go for example with main campaigns. Okay, here on the excerpt section, we need to give some observations or description to our campaign. Okay, the next one is fits for this campaign. Here we are going to import our RSS feed link URL from where it is going to generate our content. Let's click on this add feed button. Okay, this is the URL of our feed. Uh, for testing uh, whether it works or not, we are going to click on this ABC button to see whether it works or not. Okay, so it works, works perfectly. So the next one is options for this campaign. Here we have maximum items to create on each fetch by enabling this option. Uh, users can limit the number of content that we are going to generate from our RSS feed. Here it is stated like five, but we can change the number easily. Then we have order feed items by date before process. By enabling this, imported feed items are processed in chronological order based on their original publication date. We have a use feed item date and it will prioritize the original date assigned to our feed items uh, by website sources or RSS feed. We have pink packs and track bags and uh, it ensures us that so it's a method that we use to notify other websites when we link to their content. Then we have convert character encoding to a UTF-8. It means uh, so that like special characters are displayed correctly on your website. We have comments options here. We can let it open, closed or registered only. I will let it open. Uh, we need to set an offer here. Here we have fill excerpt with item description field. Uh, it means that WP Medical will automatically generate field description, item description from RSS feed. Then we have strip all HTML tags. By enabling this, all HTML tags will be removed from the content. We have strip links from content. It will remove all the links from the content. So I want this one. I will tick on the box. Then we have post title links to source. Uh, it means that our post titles will turn into clickable links and it will take us to the original source. Then we have copied the permalink from the source. It means that uh, it lets us to use the original source's permalink. And we have avoid search redirection to source permalink. So search engines won't, won't redirect to our users to the original permalink. Uh, then here we have schedule cron here we can activate scheduling and you can define here on what times you want to fetch this feed also here we have pre-selected schedule we can uh, choose the option that we want we have every five minutes every 15 minutes once per hour and etc i will go for example with every five minutes Okay, so here we have options for images and under it you can see that we have don't use general settings. By clicking on this option, you can avoid general settings. And uh, here users can choose whether to store an image or not, or uh, whether to choose the first form found in uh, the content as featured or not. The same will be also for audios, for videos. Here we have also duplicate control. And by clicking here, uh, you let WP Medico itself handle with duplicate content. We have here a post template and it will allow to modify the content fetched by adding extra information such as text, images, campaign data and etc. And it also you can here use some text that will replace for current value. Here also you can see that you can use custom post templates. 
and at the bottom uh, we have campaign tabs feed fetcher and we have youtube fetcher bb press forms xml campaign type and etc here we have also publish so the published status we need to be it published or to be as draft pending private and etc i will uh, go with published we have post types whether we want it to be like post or a page or landing page and etc i will go with post we can here uh, we have campaign control panel we can see last fetch it and fetch it totals also here uh, here we have campaign post format as you can see whether we want it to be standard gallery image link and etc i will go with the standard one i have campaign categories here and here we can add auto categories also and we have categories full collection sharing option and etc here we have also tag generation where we can add tags and also here i want to mention that in the metabox of campaigns uh, can be assigned previously created categories and or categories that are within the uh, feed items here we have also send log and email will be sent with the events of campaign fetch it. So you can also filter the emails only if an error occurred or left blank not to send emails of this campaign. Now we are going to publish our campaign. Let's publish it. Okay, our campaign is published. Now we are going to our all campaigns to see. But this is our campaign as we named it as main campaign let's go to our log so now we are on our log and you remember that we stated five uh contents five posts and here we can numb that they are five so let's for example view some from here okay we can see that it generated our content so it doesn't differ from any other content so this was it about WP in Medical. I hope you found this video helpful. If you found it helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this. And also, if you will have any questions or suggestions, you are free to leave them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Bye!